Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Painting the Mansions of Madness Minis with Foster the Meeple. My name is Zach, and today we're going to be painting the investigator Minty Fan, the secretary, from Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. To start things off, I'm mixing some tanned flesh with some brown to get the base skin tone for my mini. The next color I use is electric blue. I'm going to use this to block in the dress. I will be adding some color variation between the top and the bottom of the outfit, but for now I just want to get a nice base coat on everything so I can start seeing where to go. Next, I'm taking my off-white mummy robes, and I'm going over all of the books that the mini is holding. And I'm doing this because I'm going to basically be layering up. So if I start with the white, I'll have the color of the pages. And then from there, I'm going to choose what color I want the covers to be. And instead of trying to add the white in as a tiny strip, I'll just be going over it. I'm using the same color to go over the collar of the outfit and it's just easier to do all of the same color on the model at the same time. So while I have the brush filled with this color, I'm going to use it. Next up, I'm going over with a little bit of brown on the book. I'm still trying to decide what color I want the book covers to be and I figured that I was going to use this to give it an underlayer, and eventually I wanted to have kind of a yellow color, which takes quite a few layers to get to uh, have a nice consistency. Here I'm taking a thin brush with some red, and I'm going over where I made the pages white on top of the books, and I'm making a separation of red book binding to show that she's holding more than one book. Here I'm using demonic yellow, and I'm going to start coloring in the cover of the front book. I'd later come to regret my color combo decision for the books of yellow and red as it kind of ended up looking a bit too ketchup and mustardy, so I do uh, tone down the vibrancy uh, a little bit near the end. Here I'm taking the ash gray and I'm going to mix that with the blue that I used for the outfit earlier. This is going to give me a little bit of variation in the lower half of the outfit. I noticed that the sleeves of the shirt had some cuffs, so I went in with the off-white and I colored those to match the collar that I did earlier. For the hair, I'm starting with a base coat of Necromancer Cloak. Later on, I'll come back in and do a few little bit lighter highlights in the hair just to give it a little more variation, but it's mostly just this color. Thank you. 
When I finish with the hair, I use the same color, Necromancer's Cloak, to block in the shoes. After these shoes are done, the majority of my base colors are blocked in, so I'm going to go in with some yellow and do a few touch-ups to the book because it still doesn't have the saturation that I want, uh, and I just want to bring that value up. Here I'm taking some lighter blue and I'm adding some variation and highlights into the top of the outfit. Here I'm going to go back in with some more white and I'm going to try to make the definition of the book pages a little bit crisper. Here I'm both touching up the skin and also bringing in some lighter values to add the variation to the highlights. At this point, I'm going over the arms with some lighter skin tone, bringing up highlights gradually. And while working on the skin tones, I also move on to the face. This model has some glasses on it, which provided a bit of difficulty with figuring out how to do the eyes. Here I'm just going in with a lighter skin tone again and adding more layers of highlight as I go. Here I'm adding just a little bit of a kind of flesh tone mixed with a bit of pinkish red to do the lipstick on the mini. I decided that I wanted the glasses to be blue as well, so here you can see me just mixing some different colors and different shades of blue on my wet palette, testing it on the paper towel before I paint in the glasses frames. After I finish with the glasses frames, I take some matte white and I'm going to paint in the actual eyes themselves.
finally, I'm going in with some matte black and I'm going to put in the pupils, one in each eye, very carefully, trying to be as steady as I can, getting a good grip on the mini. I briefly considered maybe filling each of these lenses with some kind of glue to get a kind of transparent glass effect, but I decided against it. After putting in the pupils, it's just going back to touch up the frames for anywhere I spilled over with the white or black. Doing a few touch-ups on the shoes here to make sure that they have the shape that I want and that they're colored in nicely. It's around this point that I've decided, well, yeah, those books are looking way too much like ketchup and mustard, so I'm taking a bit of the soft tone and going to apply it to the books to really darken it up a little bit and take away that vibrant mustard look. I did get some of the wash on the arms during this step, so I would have to go back in and layer the arms back up to make sure that they weren't affected by the wash. And here's the final result. I did go in and boost the blue of the skirt to make it a little bit more vibrant and have some more tonal variety, and I added some purple to the belt to give a bit of separation between the top and bottom. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, consider subscribing, liking the video, and watching some more of our content. We post frequently at Foster the Meeple on Instagram. Remember to support your local game store. For us in Halifax, that's the Boardroom Game Cafe, where I bought both this game and the primer I used on the mini at a great price. We'll see you next time, everyone.